Hello, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what are passphrases and how to set them up on Ledger Nano S Plus. So passphrases are... Um, <clears throat> first, uh, let's talk about recovery phrase. You probably know it, you've been setting up your wallet and it was generated or you were restoring it from already generated one. And it is used uh, for the wallet to generate private keys. And private keys are uh, generated based on the whole recovery phrase. And they are always the same if the same recovery phrase is entered. And as I said, based on the whole one. A passphrase is an additional word. 25th, for example, if you're using uh, the recovery phrase with 24 words. Mm that um, basically changes how private keys are generated because it's like in the recovery phrase if you change one word it'll generate different private keys and it's very important to know that because um, the passphrase lets you gen uh, in general make a different wallet uh, based on the same recovery phrase but you'll just need to know your passphrase as well and it can be used for either another layer of security. So even if someone gets your recovery phrase, you still only you know your passphrase or have it written down in a different place. So um, even if, if they get your recovery phrase, you can, for example, not have any money on the wallet made with a recovery phrase without a passphrase and only use uh, use the uh, money on the wallet with a passphrase or you can use it as your second wallet and you can use the one with a passphrase the one without a passphrase feel free to also have multiple ones with passphrases like for example one without a passphrase um one uh, with a passphrase, another one with a passphrase, and maybe another one with a passphrase. Feel free to arrange it however you like. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up your passphrase. So once your yeah, once your wallet is set up, press and hold on both buttons at once to go to the control center. Then go to settings, go to the right to security. Now go down to passphrase go to the right and now you can click on set up a new passphrase and you have an option to either attach it to a pin or set temporary first I'm gonna explain temporary temporary lets you enter the passphrase and once you enter it you're just using the wallet with the passphrase and once you lock the device uh, or turn it off then it'll revert itself back to the wallet without a passphrase and if you attach it to a pin it has to be a different pin than your main pin and then you can use different pins to log in and they will log into different assets basically uh, and one of them will be with a passphrase another uh, another one without and there can be multiple ones so i'm gonna attach it to a new pin then i need to choose the passphrase pin first so I have my main pin set to 123, so I'll just set 123 for 5 and approve it. Now let's confirm uh, the pin. And now you'll need to enter the passphrase. And passphrase is case sensitive, space sensitive and can have special symbols like numbers or other special special symbols so first you'll need to select the set of symbols i'm gonna select capital letters then i'm gonna select letter h and now go to go back to the uh, cap selection let's select uh, the um small letters and now i'm gonna type in a then r Then let's type in D. Then let's go back to the selection, select caps letters. Um, now let's type in R. Let's go back to selection, uh, select small letters. And yeah, you can set it up to basically whatever you like. Um, I'm gonna of course set it to hard reset. Um, that's quite typical in my case. Uh, to set it like that so 
yeah now the letter t and by the way the passphrase can be from one up to about 30 digits it can be i guess 30 31 or 32 i don't really remember that but you'll see it basically once you enter it yeah now let's go to the approval sign here let's confirm it you can see it's entered correctly so you can go further then confirm with current pin so this is the pin you're logged in currently yeah and now it's processing and my passphrase is set so now I'm uh, I think I'm still in the one without a passphrase so I'll just I'll just press and hold then lock the device and enter my different pin okay and now um, I'm in the wallet with a passphrase and I can use completely different assets and I hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one Thank you.